some of you know that uh, for about the past three years I've been growing a garden on nothing but goat poop and that is we put uh, composted poop in the soil as organics and we use a poop tea as kind of a, a feeder kind of a fertilizer type um, and I'm to the point where I got to make some more so I thought I might film it and here we go and I just uh, I get a sacrificial sock that uh, you know it's no good whatever yeah just get a sock or whatever use cheesecloth or anything you want now this is poop that uh, that's been sitting around for a couple of years and I try to get ploppers like uh, not the pellets they're a little more rich they're usually uh, because they've been getting uh, pasture um, a lot of wet vegetation so I think that's good it's microbial more diverse that way anyway I just stuffed this sock full I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use mostly this older stuff and stuff it as full as I can here. Big chunks are easier. Like I said, this stuff's been out for a couple of years. It's pretty pretty dry. I used to collect it, I need to start collecting it more. Okay, now right here in the middle, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put some fresh stuff that I got today. Put that in there. Okay, that should be enough. And then I tie the top off. Okay, so there you go, you got a poop sock, um, a gray poop sock, it's awesome. Um, what I got right here is, this is a bucket that I've left out overnight uh, so it can dechlorinate, and I literally just stick it in there, and of course it's going to float for now, put the lid on it. I'm gonna let that sit for about three days. So you dilute it further, and then I would pour this directly on the soil around my plants. Check that little deed out. He's trying to get the hell out of there. So there you go, poop tea. Have a good one, guys. My, own, my family is a rifle and my bed is made.